Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you could potentially finish your WGU degree as fast as possible, either within two terms, one term, or maybe even three terms, and potentially save you both time and money. In an earlier video, I mentioned that I completed my bachelor's in cybersecurity in one term um, and basically saved myself thousands of dollars of tuition fees. I essentially only did just three simple things um, that helped me really speed run through my program. So if you're looking to apply to WGU or are currently in the application process, I would recommend following along with this video uh, so you can finish your degree quickly and possibly save you a term or two. Even though I'm mainly focusing on the IT related degrees at WGU, these steps can very easily be translated over to the non-IT degrees. Uh, so say for example if you want to major in business administration, uh, these steps can still help you accelerate that program. If you like this video, please hit the like. If you have any questions, feel free to post it in the comment. And please subscribe if you would like to see more of my future content. Anyways, let's begin. So there's only three things that I did to help me accelerate my cybersecurity degree program. And the first one is to already come in with certificates. So if you already have your A+, Network+, or Security+, or any combination of those three, then you can transfer them over to satisfy some of the course requirements. Some of these certificates even cover more than one course. I believe that the Security+, Plus covers three classes, if not two. The A+, Plus covers two classes, and the Network+, Plus only does cover one. I also recommend getting the Google IT Support Certificate, uh, because it does cover one class, and it's a rather easy certificate to get, um, and it's also free if you're able to complete it within one week. Even though it's not a very popular certificate or a certificate that hiring managers ask for, uh, I personally enjoyed it, and the material that you learn in that program uh, was rather useful. I'll be posting a link to Coursera's Google IT Support Certificate down in the description below if you are interested. All right, so the next step was I ended up transferring in a lot of credits using third-party programs that offer ACE accreditation. The only two websites that I used were Sophia Learning and Study.com. However, I leveraged Sophia Learning a lot more just because it was a it was a lot cheaper and I overall had a more pleasant experience. So what Sophia Learning and Study.com are are basically websites where you could take online college courses that you can uh, transfer over to colleges that accept ACE accreditation, um, WGU being one of them. There are other websites like Sailor or Straighter Line. Um, however, uh, Sophia and Study.com are the two more popular ones and the ones that offer the most classes. So last year, I created a spreadsheet for myself that outlined the cybersecurity degree plan, um, and I also and I also did my own research on which classes I was able to transfer to essentially speed up. Uh, my, my my degree. So what I did was I took most of my general ed courses at Sophia Learning um, and then I also supplemented it with taking a couple extra classes at study.com. What I also did too was I also transferred in uh, a lot of the core courses um, just because I knew a lot of the material and it was just really easy for me to take classes on um, at Sophia to transfer them over to my degree plan. Over here, I also tracked all the credits I transferred and how many and how many credits I had left. Uh, I just did that just for like accountability and tracking purposes, just so I can kind of see the number go down and see the credits I've I've accumulated go up, and it just felt really good. I was planning on sharing the spreadsheet, but um, it's 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 one year old, it's outdated, and it just doesn't look pretty. Um, this was before I kind of got used to knowing about uh, Excel or um, Google, Google Sheets. Um, so I did my research uh, and I updated the cybersecurity uh, spreadsheet to the latest one, at least up to February of 2023. And at the same time, I also did all the other IT related um, degree programs as well. So say for example, if you did not want to do cybersecurity uh, and if you want to do the cloud computing, then I have a spreadsheet that outlines all the transferable classes uh, that you can take at Sophia and study. So if you end up transferring all the possible classes that Sophia Learning offers, uh, you'll be starting WGU with 41 credits already. And for example, if you already had your A+, then you'd have already come in with 49 credits. As I said before in my previous video, um, I already came in with A plus and my security plus. So essentially I already came in with 
uh, a handful of credits. So if you were to, so if I were to have gone into the cloud computing degree, I'd have already started with 53 credits and 68 credits remaining. And if I were to have taken some additional courses at study.com, say for example, network and security foundations, even though Sophia Learning um, doesn't have it, study.com does have it. And if I were to have taken it, then that I would have been able to transfer that over. Even though this video and this channel is for like IT, cybersecurity, uh, this video can be used for anyone at WGU, even though they're not taking any IT related degrees. Uh, I made a template that you can use where you can kind of go to the transfer list of the of WGU's, web, of WGU's website and find out which um, which degree you want to you want to major in and just kind of do your research, find out which classes that you're able to transfer over. So you can very easily transfer in the general ed portion of your degree plan and just focus on the core and the specialized classes to essentially accelerate your degree, maybe save yourself a term or two. I will be posting the link to this Excel sheet down in the description below so you guys can download and use it however you like. Uh, and I also made one for the cybersecurity master's program, um, a very simple one just because you really can't transfer in that many classes. However, um, I'm planning on taking the master's in cybersecurity uh, probably later this year. Uh, I'm currently studying for the CISSP and I did my research and it looks like I am able to transfer it. So by the time I'm able to start my program, I'll already be a third of the way completed. So now I want to get into the reasons why I prefer Sophia Learning over the others. Um, it's just because it's actually a lot cheaper and I find the curriculum to be a lot, um, a lot better. The monthly fee for Sophia Learning is only $99 per month and you could uh, take as many classes as you can within that month, but in increments of two, meaning that when you enroll in two classes, you can't change to a different class. Uh, you have to either finish one of those two classes before you're able to enroll into another one, or if you choose to drop one, but I wouldn't really recommend that. Even if you do end up dropping a class and you reconsider, uh, you could talk to customer support uh, and they'll be able to help you re-enroll it, but you only have, I believe, only like one time to do that. Uh, if you drop out a second, uh, second class, then I don't think you'll be able to re-enroll it afterwards. The reason why I find Sophia Learning's curriculum a lot better is that the exams that you take, they're all open book. You also don't need to be recorded or no one's gonna be proctoring you. Um, so it's just a lot easier to take the exam. You feel a lot more comfortable when you're taking the exam. And then also for the essays that you have to complete for some of the courses, uh, the reviews that you get back or the comments that you get back, uh, they, f they feel a little bit more personalized um, to kind of improve on your next essays for the next class. Sophia Learning is the website with the second most amount of classes that you can transfer over, uh, with first being study.com. Um, study.com is another option, uh, however it is a little bit more expensive and you are limited to only two exams. You could take um, additional exams for an additional fee. I believe it's either $50 for each exam or $75 with a maximum of three classes. Also for study.com, the exams or the final exams, they're pseudo proctored. So it's not technically someone will be watching you. However, uh, you will have to record yourself taking the exam. So once you're done with your exam and you submit it, then uh, someone else will evaluate the footage. And if you and if you get caught looking to your left or if it looks like you're cheating, then they may reject it. I really don't know exactly what happens when they assume you're cheating, uh, but chances are you're not going to be able to pass that class unless you prove that you weren't cheating or maybe even have to take it again. So if you were to do Sophia Learning and can do five classes in one month, uh, you would only be paying $100 versus study.com where you would pay almost $400. However, if you do have that extra money, I would recommend using a mixture of both uh, in order for you to submit the most amount of credits possible to accelerate you do your degree program uh, when you actually do start. So the last step that I took was to pre-game the courses that I didn't end up transferring. For those classes, I looked online through Reddit and YouTube uh, where people talked about their experiences when taking that class and some of them even posted their study materials. So I got those study materials and started taking down notes so that by the time I actually started WGU and it was time for me to take those courses, I was already very 
well prepared. So I only needed maybe a week or two maximum to just kind of brush up on that knowledge so I can either take the exam or submit the assignment. I would highly recommend this step for the certification based classes because those are known for being the most time consuming courses. I know that for the pen test plus, even though I studied it beforehand, it still took me a month while at WGU to prepare even more for it um, because it is a very difficult certification. And even then, I barely passed that one. All right, and that just about wraps up the steps I would recommend in order for you to accelerate your WGU degree. Any links discussed in my video will be posted down in the description. I really hope this video helps you throughout your journey and potentially shortens your term length. I'm also part of this Discord community where it's all about IT. We hold weekly goals meetings, uh, we do resume reviews, uh, we also offer advice about how to break into the industry. Um, if you are interested in joining the Discord group, uh, I will post the link in the comment section down below as well. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like. If you want to see more future content, please subscribe. And thank you and uh, take care.